happy new year from marine tech hub uh, today i like to thank all my subscribers to bring marine tech hub to the highest level so today my topic will be uh, with respect to expansion wall so I, what i am trying to tell you is how the expansion wall works and i'll be explaining you uh, by showing you full detail uh, you are not supposed to adjust unless otherwise you are you know what you are doing it okay so if you are adjusting it you should make sure that no liquid should go inside the uh, compressor so that kind of adjustment you should be able to do it if it is not working so normally we replace it but still in emergency situation you can adjust it uh, to make the system work okay so let's play the video for you so that it will be very helpful so uh, this is the danfoss expansion valve uh, this number is uh, uh, ts12 and the range is from minus 40 degrees to plus 10 degrees pressure range of 28 bar so what actually happens is this is the bulb which will be liquid will be inside this which will expand and press the diaphragm here uh, to operate the expansion wall so if you see this expansion wall it will be like this and the bulb will be on the return line of the evaporator so what is happening is you can operate uh the spring tension you can open this here and rotate this when you are rotating this there is a special tool to rotate this when you can rotate this the spring uh tension will be adjusted so normally for a uh, freon 404a it is 26 uh, mm so if you see this when i open it you can see it is something like this uh, it will be fitted inside here and uh, when you are rotating the if you rotate this this one you can see here this will rotate the ratchet here in order to increase the uh, tension of the spring if you see this this ratchet can be this can be rotated this rotation can be done by rotating this so there is a ratchet arrangement here you can see here you can see a ratchet type so when you rotate this it, this will move the uh wheel here in order to increase the tension so i wanted to show you how it looks from inside you can see inside uh when the expansion takes place in this this will press the diaphragm this diaphragm will press this this portion of the rod here in order to open the valve here so i will show you uh, so this will be going like this there's a slot here there's a slot here this will be going like this inside straight like this then this spindle will move down so the liquid coming from here will come out through this and the expansion will take place and it will form into gas so i am pulling it out to show you how it looks like so you can see this so this distance need to be measured uh, as per the manual you can increase the tension or decrease you can see this and you can open this there's a circlip here you can open this the spring will come out and this spindle will move when you can see this when you press this you can see it's moving so this can be this is how it is so the liquid this will get pressed and the liquid will escape through this to form gas so this distance is very important suppose that you want to increase the tension you can use the ratchet here to adjust the tension so this you can dismantle it you can see you can just press this out to remove this uh, circlip here 
when you remove this the spring will come out so this part is simple so if you have any doubt you can message me thank you